I'm at this festival that I, I dreamed about playing since I was 13, when I first discovered it. It means so much to be here and just to be recognized by the people that play this festival and by Eric Clapton, who he's uh, really the reason I started playing guitar. I, I carried on playing guitar because of lots of guitar players, but I started because I heard Layla and it really did just flick a switch in me. And I feel like it was all in one moment. I, I just decided I need to be able to do that because that feels incredible to listen to. It's really moving me. And um, somebody did it with their own hands. Some human being did something that to me sounds so superhuman. Layla really is the track that um, first did it for me. And I, it also, it's a track that led me to go and explore all other corners of, of guitar music from all other decades and generations. And um, so it was a gateway to an incredible world for me. And uh, the feeling of that um, is probably like no other I've, I've had. How did the century become my guitar? Well, I found it in New York, around about the time I was meeting the record label that I signed to. I just liked the look of it when I went in there. And I think I've, I've always been a bit acoustic with what I do and a bit electric. And it had the wound G string, which made it all feel very acoustic, but I plugged it in and it just had that old kind of crunchy, breathy sort of sound. Because this has like a wound G string and a wooden bridge, and that's a different kind of playing than when you've got like a metal bridge or a floating bridge. It's harder to work with, and that's genuinely what I love about it. I fight with what almost wants to be an, an acoustic guitar by trying my hardest to play it like an electric guitar, and the result I get, I love. It's just always responded. I play a lot with my fingers, but if I attack this with a pick, I like the way it responds. For all of those reasons, I, I, I just never put it down, especially with my first album as I was flying around the world promoting it. It was always this guitar. I didn't see myself as a person with a signature, because I love, I love 330s and I love strats and I love tellies and I love hollow bodies with shoulders, like without the cutaways. And there's so many people that have made those guitars famous over the years. So I thought, well, I'm never gonna necessarily reach those heights. And I'm not even that bothered because I just wanna carry on my journey of trying to follow in their footsteps and sound good. It was almost a dream come true I didn't realize I'd had because I never thought I'd reach that. My favorite sound, I think, is the sound of P90 pickups. To be even more specific, it's probably P90 pickups in a hollow body guitar. Not too deep, something kind of shallow, like the Century. They just have a great bite to them. They can be nice and kind of round on the neck pickup. It's a great sort of in-between place uh, in the middle, as you'd expect, because that round sound you get on the neck pickup, it gets bitey when you add some of the bridge when you're sitting on the middle position. But when you go to that bridge pickup, I love that you can really cut in a different way. I think they both cut. I love that for lead guitar playing. Roll some of the volume off, and it's a nice kind of glassy rhythm sound that, again, is kind of uh, spiky, but um, it's, there's enough sort of air in it. And I play all my guitars at the moment through a Tone King Sky King, which I've loved for a long time. And uh, I play a Victory V40 Deluxe, which is quite a new amp builder in the UK out of the UK. And I've worked with those guys, again, for like five or so years. I can drive those amps, but they've got attenuators so that it doesn't have to just be like slamming with volume, which I love. I think guitar culture is timeless. as such a part of the fabric of how we make music, how we perform music, how we receive music. When it's at a real high, uh, it's unstoppable. But that's a, what's okay about that is that it's going to go away for a while sometimes and it's gonna have to take a back seat. But I don't think it's ever getting kicked off the bus. I think it'll always have its moment to come back forward. And as long as we keep pushing the boundaries of it and honoring the um, sort of traditions of the instrument and doing, you know, all versions of those things with guitar, there'll always be room for it. I think it's too important to ever lose. That's the kind of broader answer I can give you. I can tell you also that my relationship with it is, it's an undying love, it's, it's never ending, but I put it away sometimes. There's something awesome about coming back to it. You know, I go and sit on a piano because I'm terrible at the piano. 
just to sort of refresh a part of me that needs refreshing creatively. And one way or another in that same day, I'll always pick a guitar up again because it's, you know, it's, it's so familiar and it's such a, a sort of friend to my musical side. My advice for any 10, 11, 12 year old or younger or older that is going into a guitar center or going into a guitar store and falling in love with the guitar for whatever reason, my advice is follow whatever that is. Follow the instinct as far as it goes. Just keep following it. Don't ask too many questions. You'll have questions. Don't ask too many. Just follow. Because um, there are some amazing surprises and there's just a lot of fun rewards to, to be had along the way. Thank you.